We are going to do a stretch this morning using your yoga ball. We're going to start seated. You can either have a lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, a baseball, whatever you have that will give you access. And we're going to take the ball, starting in a kind of crisscross position, taking the ball right underneath the ball of your foot, so heel comes down, and you put your hand on top of that foot, just to give it pressure and some control. So we're going to release different parts of the body today, go into a little bit of a yogic kind of stretch. So I want you to roll that ball underneath every knuckle of your, the ball of your foot. Good, and then you're going to scoot your heel forward so the ball moves closer to the arch of the foot. You want to do two or three passes, and it doesn't have to be fast. I want you to go as close to the inner edge of that foot and then close to the outer edge, and then move that ball closer to the heel. Do the same thing. Good, and then take the ball underneath the heel, and you can kind of prop yourself up here, grabbing your ankle again for control, or even holding onto the ball so it doesn't fly away from you. Good, and you can just roll around on that heel, try to find just like a little bit of a back and forth pattern and then moving it to a different point on your heel. Good, and if you're gonna switch sides, we're gonna go over to the other foot first. So heel down, oh, there's a little spider on my mat. Heel down, ball of the foot on top of the ball. Oh my goodness. And you're going to roll on the other side. So this is just a really good opportunity to kind of open up all those little muscles under your foot. Good, roll that ball closer to your heel. And if you find any points that are uh, sore, you can always pause there. Good, and then move it again closer to the heel. And still try to keep that heel down, hold the that heel down. Amazing, and now bring the, heel, the ball underneath the heel, and again, you can prop yourself up so you can put more pressure on that ball. Good morning, Fatima. Good, and then roll, rocking. Amazing, now we're gonna switch sides, so bringing the leg out so you can bend one leg, extend the other leg, putting the ball underneath the calf muscle. Good? So we're going to work on the lower half of the calf and then the upper half. Good? So what you're going to do, you're going to lean back slightly and you're just going to rock that hip back and forth. And I want you to just start generally just back and forth, getting this motion. And then I want you to turn those toes inward. So we're going to be doing the focus point of the inner part of the leg. Good, and then you're going to do three or four passes there, and then you're gonna rotate to the upper side. I'm just gonna change this track. Um, keep going here. Oh, my allergies are bad today. Good, and then you wanna open up the inner edge of the foot facing upwards so that the ball is rolling on the outer edge of that calf. Right? And you may also need to just hold that leg if you're finding that your fascia is really tight and your whole leg is going like this, like mine is. Good. Then I want you to take that ball and bring it up to the meaty part of that calf, doing the same thing. Turning those toes downward. Good. And then facing those toes up. Rocking back and forth. Good, and then opening up that foot, facing upwards. Rolling back and forth. Amazing, and let's go to the other side. Now, in between our stretches today, we're going to get up and kind of get into those areas with a different stretch. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So, again, same thing on this side, the lower half of the calf, just back and forth a little bit. And then when you find a rhythm, I want you to turn those toes downward so you're rolling the ball on the inside of that calf as best you can. Good. 
good, and then point those toes upwards. Good, and then turn those toes so that they're facing out, so you're running that ball on the inner edge. Good, now move the ball to the meaty part of that calf, and same thing, let's rock back and forth. And then you're gonna turn those toes inwards. Breathing. And again, if you find a spot that is really tight, you can just pause there. Good, and then to center. And then the other side. Amazing, relax and just put that ball to the side, making sure it's not gonna roll too far away from you. And then you're gonna bring yourself to a downward facing dog. Good? And we're gonna stretch out our calves here. So pressing yourself to a downward dog. And then I want you to pedal out those legs with the purpose to get into that calf muscle where we were just working. So you wanna just drop that heel on one side, right? And just land there and breathe. And you should feel the stretch in the back of the leg, right? Namely in the back of the calf. And I want you to just land on one side, breathe here, try to straighten that knee, and then the other side. And you should notice that you're getting that stretch in the calf, kind of where we're, we're rolling, one side maybe tighter or looser than the other. Good, now you're gonna get up on your toes and you're gonna drop your heels. Up on both toes, same thing, drop both heels. And I just want you to get deeper every single time you drop those heels to stretch out those calves a little more. Up on those toes, drop on the heels. Up on your toes. Good, drop on your heels. Amazing, good, bring yourself back down, having a seat. Good, now you're going to bend the left leg, extend the right leg, and you're gonna take the ball underneath that hamstring. Good? So sometimes this feels like you can't access it because our hamstring is a pretty big muscle, this is a little ball. But I'm gonna encourage you to kind of just land in there, right? So you want a straight leg, and you wanna almost push, have the ball right underneath the juicy part of that hamstring. And you're just gonna, almost like you're trying to get in there, pushing that leg down on that hamstring, and then you're gonna move closer to it, right? And as you get closer to the insertion point, so like right underneath your backside, you might feel it's a little more tender, but just be gentle, right? Like you just wanna get in there, like it's giving a little bit of a massage. Good, and then scoot it up under again. Good, and then last one. So you never want this again on your joints, right? You just wanna to try to get it in that hamstring, and massage it through there. Good, and then now I want you to take the ball out, and you're just going to lean on this side, into that hamstring. Good, as best you can, and pulling your toes towards you so you get it in the back of the leg. You may feel this in half of it, in that hamstring, in the back, if you're tight through here like I am. Amazing. Bend your right leg, straighten your left leg. Let's do it on this side. So same thing, underneath the belly of that hamstring, leaning into it, getting into that side. Good, and then roll it up. Lean into it, breathe into it. Good, and then do it again. Get up higher, lean into it, breathe into it. Amazing, and then take that ball, bring it even a little higher, lean into it, breathe into it. Amazing, then release it again. And then lean into that side, pulling those toes towards you, get a nice stretch in that calf, in that hamstring. You may feel it through the back here.
amazing, and then release. So I want you to flip over to your belly. Good, you're gonna be on your front side. You're gonna take that ball underneath your right quad. Good. And I want you to just kind of roll it forward and back. So it's almost like you're trying to bend and extend. You're gonna kind of get into that belly of the muscle. And you can go across, right? So move that like in and out so you can get it rolling there. Right, and then once you're kind of got, got a little spot, you're gonna land in the center, right? So basically where your hand touches that ball, you want it there, right? And you're gonna try to close this hip down as best you can. Then you're gonna bend that knee. Now what you'll find here is that you might get some clicking in the knee, might feel a little tight, but we're just gonna land and bend and extend. Nice and slow. And I just want you to notice, I want you to, when you're doing this hamstring curl, your glute is also activated as you bend that knee, not just your leg. Good, now take the ball, roll it up a little bit, and depending on how tight you are, this might feel a little uncomfortable, you can just toggle the weight that you're putting on that ball. Find your breath, this is really tight for me. Good. Take that ball up just a little higher. Again, it should never be on your joints or right on any insertion point. Same thing, right? So it should be the top of that quad. It should kind of feel kind of maybe clicky or ropey. Again, nice and controlled. Good. Now I want you to keep those toes down and you're going to kind of rock side to side. So that you can get into that iteration of the muscle. Amazing. Now you're going to roll, and I'll just, oh, flip over. You're going to roll to the hip side. So it's almost right in that glute, right? So you're going to roll so that you're just on that hip. And you can bend that bottom knee. And again, moderate the pressure with your upper body. So you're getting right into the top of that quad, not on the hip bone, on the inside. Almost like where it would, it would wraps around your glute, right? So right this juicy part here. Again, being mindful, you don't want to jam it in there, but I want you to feel that tightness in that glute. Find your breath, and just roll like back and forth, right? And you might feel a little tender, so release the, pro uh, you don't put as much pressure. Amazing. Good, let's flip over. I'm putting the ball on the other side for us. Good, so again, right underneath the quad where your hand reaches. And first you can kind of go back and forth, moving through those little areas of your quad muscle. Good, and then try to bring your hip to the ground and slowly, using that glute also for activation, you're gonna bring that heel to your backside. Find your breath. You got it. Two more. Nice and controlled. Amazing. Move that ball up a little bit so that it is up about an inch or two. Good. Again, try to keep that hip closed. Slowly bending that knee. Nice and controlled. Activating that glute. Down controlled. Right? Glute pulls with the hamstring. Bringing it up. Amazing, and let's do it one more time. So bring it up just slightly, right underneath 
the insertion point of that hand, uh, that quad, bending it nice and controlled. And again, depending on how tight you are here, the ball might kind of shimmy shake around, and that's okay. Amazing, keeping those toes down, you just want to rock and roll, kind of massage out that upper quad area. Amazing, now rolling onto that left side. I'm just going to flip over so you can see this. Good, right on the side. Fulcruming with your knee down, elbow down. Kind of rolling side to side here. Right, and again, it's not right on the hip bone, it's on that juicy piece that rope, uh, wraps around to that glute. And again, going back and forth, using and moderating pressure by putting pressure in that elbow and that knee. Nice and controlled. Really good. Good. Now we're going to get onto your, our backs. We're going to take that ball underneath. Just so if this is your lower back, the band of your lower back, I want you to go just below that into your glute, right? So it's going to be under our right butt cheek. And so you want to bring it to the close to where your tailbone is. And then we're going to roll it back and forth through here. Good. So your both feet are going to be on the ground. Right, and you're gonna feel that point not on the tailbone, and you're gonna roll it across, like you're trying to get to the point that we just rolled on the side, right? Bending back and forth, so hips swiveling one side, and you may also feel that same kind of pressure that we were just on. It should feel like a nice release. Good, and then you're gonna roll the ball down, just slightly. Good, do two or three passes here. And then you're going to straighten that right leg or whatever side the ball is on. And same thing, you're going to use your left leg to moderate the pressure. And you're going to rock back and forth, nice and slowly. Amazing. You're going to take it out from underneath there and you go to the other side. Let me split over for you. Good. Again, right underneath the hips and tailbone. Both feet planted on the ground. Turn your rock side to side. Really good. Again, straighten that left leg, moving it down. And again, moderating the pressure by pushing into that right foot that's bent. Amazing. Good. Now let's take it underneath the right side of our back. Good. So not on our lower back. You want to bend it just above. Right? So on the outside of our spine, that nice meaty muscle on the spine on one side. And I want you to just take a deep breath here, breathing out, closing those ribs down and feeling that muscle. And you're just going to land here and breathe. Good. And then you're going to roll the ball up, so scoot your butt down. And same thing, I want you to feel that meaty muscle. Deep breath in, breathing out here. Good. Now let's move that ball up a little bit again, almost to where your shoulder blade, the base of your shoulder blade, right? To the point that it doesn't feel like you need to lift your whole body just yet. And I want you to take a deep breath in here. And then breathing out, trying to close that rib and landing, putting pressure on that space. Amazing. And now let's switch sides. So taking the ball to the left side, of that spine to the outside edge. Good, finding that nice meaty erector spine eye. Deep breath in here, breathing out, leaning into that side. Good. 
Move that ball up slightly or scoot yourself down. Good, deep breath in here. And breathing out, letting that rib sink. Good, last one, moving the ball up. Again, right below that shoulder blade, not right on the spine, never right on the joints. Deep breath in, breathing out, landing into it. Really good, release. Now let's switch to the other side. So I want you to get into your lat. So your lat is right underneath your armpit, right? Like if you extend your arm, you'll feel that nice meaty part of your lat. We're gonna go right into there. So you're gonna get the ball right underneath your shoulder. And again, never on the joints and never where it feels kind of nervy. And I want you to just kind of roll around that space, right? So right underneath that armpit, rolling towards your, your shoulder blade. And just kind of roll around in here and get a little bit of a release, especially if you joined us doing uh, posterior chain yesterday, a lot of pull exercises with our back. Good, and then you want you to move it out a little bit, just to the shoulder. So you're gonna be right on the delt, the butt, rear part of the delt. And you put your hand underneath there, just, just to control that ball from rolling away. And just kind of open up that arm, find little spots that feels good, like a nice little release. Good, and then you're gonna move the ball to right under, so basically where we do the standing series, that part right by your shoulder. Right, that nice part that you always, it always feels good to have a massage. And you're going to actually take your arm across your body, so you can just land there. And I want you to kind of just roll side to side. It shouldn't be on your neck, it shouldn't be too far down. This should feel like a nice release massage here, gently. And again, not on the spine, and not on the shoulder blade. Kind of right in between that meaty part, where someone gives you like that neck massage and goes up on the shoulders, that's what you want. Amazing, let's switch sides. So starting with that lat underneath the armpit, leaning into it. And you should kind of like roll around in there. You should feel like a nice release. Amazing, and then you're gonna move it if you've spent a little long enough here. You're gonna move it out to you underneath your shoulder, right? Rear delt, kind of finding that space again, that meaty part of the muscle. For some of us, it might be more developed than others, but kind of just on the outside here, where you would give yourself almost a self massage, just leading into the ball to allow it to do it for you. Amazing, now take the ball for underneath the shoulder, right, just to the edge here. And again, rolling, taking that arm across your body. Amazing. Now we're gonna get up, I know, I'm sorry. We're gonna get up and find a wall. And we're just gonna continue on here. So you're going to find a wall, taking the ball just to the top of that shoulder. We're gonna roll it in between the shoulder blade and our spine. So you wanna start with bent knees, ball, so you can tap it here, good? And you're gonna straighten those legs. And as you straighten, the ball is gonna roll down your back, right? And you can adjust it here. You want it between your spine and between your shoulder blade, right? To bend about two inches. And as you bend, that ball's gonna come up. You should be able to tap it. So bending nice and deep in those knees. And then straightening it out. Bending nice and deep. And straighten it out. Good, all the way, nice deep. All the way up. Very good, one last one. Good, and I want you to land at the bottom and you're just gonna kind of rock. So it's that same erector spine as when we're lying down. So I don't want you to roll on your spine, but I want you to find that really nice meaty muscle and push the ball towards that shoulder blade. 
right? So it'll feel like someone's just pushing their hand along that muscle. Good, bend those knees a little bit and do the same thing from almost the spine out. Just nice and gentle, and gentle, and you can moderate the pressure, right? Butt is against the wall. Moderate the pressure, yes. Good, and then bend those knees again. Right, keep your backside or your lower back against the wall so you feel supported there. Good, and then lower down just a little bit more to the point that you can almost tap, tap that ball. Same thing, from your spine all the way up. Amazing, good, release that, and let's bring it to the other side. So bend those knees first, tap that ball, Woo, and then straighten those legs. So this side for me is super tight. As I extend, I can feel like all the little knots on this side. So you just wanna slow it down, find those maybe little points that feel tight, land there. Good, getting yourself three or four or five passes. Good, and then you're gonna land legs straight, finding that position, and you're just gonna rock side to side slowly, like that nice self-release, like someone's giving the massage on that side. Good, and then bend those knees slightly. Good, bend those knees slightly, do it again. Good, and the last one, bend a little bit deeper. You should be able to tap that ball, rock it side to side. Amazing, and release that ball. Come down with me, we're gonna have a seat. Good. From here, I want you just to sit back, heels on the ground, hands behind your back. We're just going to release through the hips a little bit. I want you to rock those legs from side to side. I'm going to stretch out those hips a bit. Your body should feel nice and loose from those nice rollouts. You can always use this, right? Sitting and watching TV. You can always take that ball, hang out with it. So as you rock, I want you to bring those knees closer to the ground, to your midline, right? Just to open up those hips a little bit. Amazing, then you're gonna land on one side, bringing yourself up. Good, so you 90 degree bend, 90 degree bend. And you're gonna fold forward towards the side that the knee is up. Good, and to wherever it feels good, I want you to lean into it. So you should feel stretched through that um, piriformis, Right, maybe a little bit through the back, wherever your tightness is. Good, and then I want you to roll to this side, almost like you're trying to get into pigeon. So try to straighten that back leg and bring yourself down to pigeon. Good, and try to encourage to close that hip of that straight back leg. And bring yourself to wherever it feels comfortable. Amazing, and then walk yourself to your hands, and I want you to reach that leg back a little bit, almost like you're scooting it back, so you can sit a little deeper into that hip flexor. Relax those shoulder blades back and down here. Amazing, step yourself back to downward facing, and you're gonna pedal at those legs one side and the other, remembering which leg is forward, and then you're gonna step that leg forward into a lunge position, dropping that back feet. Good, so we're gonna do a bit of a hip flexor stretch here. You're gonna pelvic tilt, right? Squeeze that glute, activate that glute. You're gonna reach that arm up of the same side of the leg that's back. And I want you to get that connection in that front hip, right? You wanna feel that hip flexor, glute is on. You're gonna take a look up to this hand, and then you're gonna follow it, reaching it forward past the knee if you can, all the way around. Good, and I want you to keep this awareness here of the hip flexor. That's what we're trying to open here. Nice and slow, following your gaze with that hand. Two more here, reach slowly, keep that engagement here. Last one. 
amazing. Land in the center. Find that breath. Reach up slightly. Good. Release. Hands come down to frame that front foot. Step back up to downward facing. Pedal out those legs one side. The other. One side. And the other. Good. Knees come down wide to child's pose. Sit back into those hips. Good. You can rock those hips side to side, getting a nice opening through those hips. Amazing. Bring yourself on your back side, right to where we started. Heels down, chest open, rock side to side. Good, now remembering what leg we were focusing on, we're gonna go to the other side. So drop those legs to that side. You're gonna lean forward. First, keeping both legs bent. I'm just gonna squeeze that. Both legs bent. Get that nice stretch in that front leg. Find your breath here. Amazing. Now you're going to straighten that back leg, bringing yourself to pigeon on this side. And go to wherever it feels accessible. One side will always be tighter than the other. Good, and walk your hands up. So hold yourself here first. Good, scooch that back leg back slightly. Just land here. Check in, where are you feeling tight? Good, pressing into your hand, curl that back toe, push yourself to downward facing. Pedal out those legs one side and the other, remembering what leg was forward. Good, you're gonna step that leg forward, same leg that was already forward, into this nice lunge position. Good, same thing, we're gonna pelvic tilt here, getting into that front hip flexor. Good, grounding down in this foot, you're gonna reach that arm up to the same side that the hip flexor is in. Make sure that glute is activated, pressing forward. Good, deep breath in, breathing out, reach that palm down, keeping your gaze on your hand, keeping that hip flexor on, breathing through it nice and controlled. Keep going. Two more here, nice reach, nice and controlled. Last one. Feel that connection in that hip flexor, land up top. From here, lean to one side. Find your breath. Amazing release. Hands frame that front foot, step back into downward facing. Good, pedal out those legs one side and the other. One side and the other. Good, knees come wide onto your mat into child's pose. Reach those hands forward, forehead comes to the ground. Drop back in those hips. Amazing. Taking your right hand, weave it underneath your left armpit. Then you're going to land here and you're going to walk that left hand open. So you're getting this nice twist through the spine and opening up here. Good. And then do the other side. So release that left right hand from underneath the left armpit. Then weave that left arm underneath the right armpit and do the same thing, open it up, right? So initially you should get a nice stretch in this shoulder and then you're opening it up. Good, and then close it down, do it again. So weaving the other side underneath that left armpit, land here, you should feel a nice opening in the back of that shoulder. Amazing, then walk that hand, open up that chest, reach. Good, and then switch, last one. 
extend the right arm above your head, weave that left arm under, lay into your first, get a nice stretch in the back of that left shoulder. Good, and then walk it over, get a nice twist. Amazing, and then close it out, bringing both hands above your head, reaching forward. Good, bringing yourself to tabletop, stacking those shoulders on top of those wrists, those hips on top of those knees, curling your toes under, keeping your neck neutral, take a deep breath in and out. Good, take a deep breath in, tap that tailbone first, round through the back. Good, breathing out, drop the belly, raise the chin. Good, deep breath in, curl that tailbone under, reaching through. Good, breathing out, opening it up. Good, one more, deep breath in. And out. Amazing, cross those ankles over. And you're just gonna scoop back and sitting down into a cross-legged position. Good. You can cross your legs, you can sit sole to sole, whatever it is. I want you to drop your shoulders to the side. Good, and you wanna ground down into those hands. Almost like you're pulling those shoulders away, pressing the, the palm, your palms into your mat. And I just want you to land here. You can close your eyes, get present to your breath. Good, reach your arm above your left arm above your head, walk your right hand away. And if you can, you're gonna bend your right elbow so that you're extending that left side. Good, straighten that right arm, bring it down. Deep breath in, grounding down through those hands, breathing out. Good, and walk that left arm reaching that right arm up and doing the same thing on the left side. Getting a nice opening on that side. Good, straighten that arm, release it. Good, bring both hands, interlace them behind your back. Good, press those palms together, drop the chin. Lift those hands away from your backside so you get a nice opening in the chest. Good, releasing those hands, bringing those hands to heart center, interlacing those hands, rounding forward, pressing those hands away. Again, finding your breath here. Amazing, bringing them to heart center. Take a deep breath here. Breathing out. Deep breath in. And out. Good, bring your thumbs to your forehead. Deep breath in, breathing out, folding forward. Give yourself a moment of thanks. Good. Good work, everyone. Thanks, Kath.